Hey fellow Garage Golfers, Rolling here with Garage Golf, where we provide extraordinary golf info for the extra ordinary golfer. As you can see, we actually have in our hands the brand new 2021 Titleist Pro V1s and Pro V1Xs. We're going to be testing out these golf balls today. Gilbert, Danny, and I will all be testing them individually, hitting the pitching wedge, the 7-iron, and a driver. We all have different swing speeds and different handicaps, so we're going to be checking for things like feel, carry, spin numbers, and more. So we're looking forward to testing that out, seeing which golf ball is going to work for each of us with our unique swings. Looking forward to bringing that video to you. That's coming up next. All right, thanks again for watching and welcome back. Here at Garage Golf, we provide information on golf products, golf equipment, golf balls, golf simulators, and pretty much anything golf related. So if you're new to our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And as always, if you're interested in building something like what you see behind me, whether it be a golf simulator, need some assistance on golf mats or screens or anything of that nature, please make sure to check out our landing page at www rainorshinegolf.com backslash garage golf and also check the video description for any affiliate links that we may have for certain products whether it be golf simulator stuff or even golf products and equipment that we've reviewed before that really helps out our channel we greatly appreciate it let's go ahead and jump into the video adam scott justin thomas tony Fino, scotty scheffler ryan palmer cameron smith Did those names capture your attention just a few of the names that are using Tyler's pro v1 and Pro V1X golf balls, and there's a huge reason why. I'm gonna bring those reasons to you now as to why it's the most trusted golf ball on tour. So let's talk about some of the differences between the brand new Pro V1 and the Pro V1X golf balls. The new Pro V1 offers the greatest combination of speed, spin, and feel in the game, providing the best fit for the majority of golfers out there. The Pro V1 flies lower than the Pro V1X with a penetrating trajectory that has a very soft feel. The Pro V1X has a fast, high flight, and delivers spin when and where a golfer wants it. The Pro V1X is designed for players who want a higher trajectory with their golf shot and increased spin relative to Pro V1 with a slightly firmer feel. Before we get to the swings, I'm going to break down some of the technology with the new 2021 Pro V1 and Pro V1X golf balls. Both of which have a reformulated 2.0 ZG process core which delivers increased distance in the solid core Pro V1 and dual core Pro V1X. Both of which have a faster high flex casing layer which adds speeds and lowers long game spin. This is a highly resistant high speed ionomer which is initially developed for and validated by Pro V1X Left Dash. And they both have a new softer core urethane elastrometric cover. It's the softest cover formulation ever used on a Pro V1 or a Pro V1X which increases greenside speed for more control in the short game. And lastly, they both have new spherically tiled tetrahedral dimple design start saying that five times fast featuring a 388 dimple layout for pro v1 and a 348 dimple layout for the pro v1x they're optimized to each model to maximize distance and flight consistency the pro v1 maintains its penetrating trajectory while the pro v1x will fly higher than the prior generation so as you see you're going to get a little bit of a softer feel with the pro v1 versus the pro v1x but with the pro v1x you're going to get higher trajectory a higher ball flight and more spin in and around the green. So we're gonna test that out today, check it out and see which one is gonna be the best fit for all three of our unique swing speeds, types, and handicaps moving forward. Did you also know that the original Pro V1 debuted over 20 years ago? It's amazing how fast time flies. I'm really looking forward to testing these golf balls. We're gonna go ahead and get into the shots. We'll go over the data with you at the end and we're excited to see which golf balls are going to fit our unique styles moving forward. And now, meet the testers. Here's today's tale of the tape. Four.
Where did that go? Where did that go? I hit that pole right there. Oh my god. <laughs> So let's start off with Danny, and Danny's our high swing speed. All right, so wait, before we get to the numbers, we gotta get to this week's Garage Golf Challenge. And that's gonna be taking five shots with the Pro V1 and five shots with the Pro V1X. As you see behind me, we're on hole number 17. We're at the PGA National Championship, home of the Bear Trap. We're gonna be taking five shots with the, I'm gonna be using the nine iron, using the Pro V1 and Pro V1Xs. And what we're looking for is to see how many greens we hit, and which ball is gonna get us closer to the hole. So let's go ahead and take that shot now. We're gonna move forward and alternate balls as we go and see which ball is going to win this week's Garage Golf Challenge. And we're set up about 129 yards away from the green. I'm gonna be using a nine iron for this shot. We're starting off with a Pro V1. switch clubs if I can continue to hit the ball that well. I'm gonna stay with a nine iron for one more shot though with the Pro V1X. Oh, that's good. On the green, so get a check mark for that. Still pretty darn far away though. 59.94 total backspin. 50 feet away from the flag. I gotta aim a little bit more right now with this next shot. All right, so we're doing a mid-challenge adjustment here. Um, I'm going to move down to a pitching wedge to allow myself to try to hit it a little bit more flush, a little bit harder shot, and see how I do with that. If any time I'm making good contact, it seems like I'm going left of the green. So let's go ahead and move down to pitching wedge for shots four and five. We're starting with a Pro V1 next. And I also seem to like to play a little bit of a draw, so I'm gonna actually aim to the right side of the green now using E6 here. So we're going to aim the right side of the green and see hopefully that draw comes back into play and brings me back towards that flag stick. Ah! So that was about maybe a foot away from having a really good shot there on that Pro V1, but it's in the water. Big X on that one. Alright, so that should be a good shot. Here we go. Woo! Okay, 17 feet. I'll take that. Pro V1X. That's the closest so far. 7561 backspin. Again, we're using now the pitching wedge. Alright, so the Pro V1 is down. It's not going to win the accuracy count. We can it win the closest to the flagstick count. Let's take this last shot and see. Shot right there. Come on, ball. A little bit left. 24. Ah, still 22 feet away. 
I think that was my best shot there with the Pro V1 by far. Now let's see if the Pro V1X can beat its record 17 feet from the hole. Might be the best shot. Still low enough. Oh, right inside. Alright, so 8041 backspin. Good backspin with that shot. Alright, so as far as the accuracy, got to give that to Pro V1X. And as far as closest to the hole, we're also giving that to Pro V1X. And again, I understand it may not be the ball. Obviously, it could be me and my swing and my very fluctuating swing. But today, in today's test in the Garage Golf Challenge, Pro V1X is your winner here at where they have the Honda Classic at PJ National Champion Course. Had a great time doing this video. Pro V1X is my winner in the accuracy and closest to the hole contest for today. All right, so let's start off with Danny. And Danny's our high swing speed player here, lower handicap. Let's go over the numbers real quick. I'm gonna take you to the screen and show it to you. So we have Danny's driver shots on the top here. Pro V1X is on top, Pro V1 here. Carry is higher with the Pro V1X. His total distance is higher. But what we're gonna look at is a couple things. Number one, um, club, set, club head speed was a little higher. That's really based upon his swing more than anything. This is kind of strange here. His back, his backspin with the Pro V1X is 2381, and with the, with the Pro V1 is 2694. So he's actually getting more backspin with the driver than he's getting with, uh, on the driver on the Pro V1 than he's getting with the Pro V1X. So that's something that we kept in mind as well. And then his apex as well, which is kind of contradictory to what Tyler says, but maybe it's based upon his swing speed or who knows. He got a 98.3 uh, average apex with the Pro V1 and an 87.3 average apex with the Pro V1X. So He's hitting it further with the Pro V1X, but he's also getting less spin, of course, uh, when the Pro V1X is supposed to spin a little bit more, but that could be something based upon the driver. So let's look at his seven iron numbers now. 173.5 versus 170 with the Pro V1X. So he's hitting a seven iron further, which is good. Let's look at some other numbers like spin. Now here's where this factors in a lot. Pro V1, 49.91 backspin. Pro V1X, 6279. So that's what we're used to seeing with the Pro V1X. And then as far as Apex, 112 with the Pro V1 and 115.3 with the Pro V1X. And then lastly, Pitching Wedge, he hits it further with the Pro V1, 119.9 to 114.7. Let's look at spin numbers. Again, Pro V1X is spinning higher, 97.08, 91.91. And his Apex, 92.2 with the Pro V1X and 98.3 again with the Pro V1. So Pro V1 should be Flighting a little bit lower, but with Danny's swing speed, for whatever reason, it's getting up to about 92.2 with the Pro V1X, 98.3. So he's getting this ball a little higher and a higher flight time as well. So you saw Danny's swing speed. I don't know if it's here on the screen, but with the driver, he's averaging somewhere around 115 to 120. Is that pretty normal for you? Uh, that's about normal, yeah. Okay. And then with your irons, what do we say you'd be at? Roughly? I would say roughly between 90 to 92 okay. uh, with the irons. All right, so based upon you and your handicap, around a five or so, I would say. Is that about right? That's okay. about right. Which ball are you going with for your ball of choice between the Pro V1 and the Pro V1X? Well, um, since my driver off the tee usually has a low penetrating ball fight to begin with, with the shaft and the club head that I use, um, I really don't need a ball um, to lower that anymore. I actually want something that maybe gets a little higher in the air. Um, so it kind of, even though it may um, go a little less, uh, the Pro V1 to me, um, feels a little softer, of course. Um, granted, I will be missing some of the spin um, around the greens, um, of course, with the Pro V1X provides. But to me, the softer feel, um, the higher launch that I like to play, um, I think the Pro V1 is, is the one to go with for me. All right, so show me your choice to show it up to the camera. Pro V1 is where Danny's going with his ball selection. All right, so that moves us on to Gilbert now. And Gilbert's our higher handicap golfer here on the channel, about, what, 19 or so? Yeah, maybe okay. higher, but 19. All right, so we tested these golf balls as well with Gilbert, so let's go ahead and jump into the numbers and take a look at that as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's start with the driver. So uh, Pro V1 driver, you were carrying 201.8, and with the Pro V1X, 197.6. Your ball speed was 124.7 with the Pro V1, 123.6 with the Pro V1X. Club head speed 85 and 80, 85.2 with the Pro V1, 85.7 with the Pro V1X. Let's look at the spin numbers with the driver. 
Now your driver numbers uh, tend to reflect what we would normally see. 1738 backspin with the Pro V1, 1936 backspin with the Pro V1X. So it is spinning higher in your case with the driver than with Danny's shot. And then let's look at Apex 82.1 with the Pro V1, 84.7 with the Pro V1X. So the ball's also getting up in the air more with the Pro V1X, which is what we're supposed to be seeing as well. So let's move on to the seven iron. Your Pro V1, 121.4. Pro V1X 117.3, and we're looking at ball speed 93.4 versus 92.4. Spin number again, 6006 with the Pro V1, 6854 with the Pro V1X. So you got a higher backspin with the Pro V1X. You're also getting the Pro V1X higher as well, 62 versus 61.3. And you don't have your numbers here because your club wasn't taped, but you're around 80 to 83 for your club head speed on average, I think, as far as what we see. And then Pro V1 for the pitching wedge, 94.1 versus 90. So you're getting more distance with the Pro V1 uh, on both your 7 iron and your pitching wedge. As far as ball speed, 80.7 Pro V1, 76.9 Pro V1X. Club head speed, you see again, 80 and 84. So somewhere between 80 and 85 with your irons on average. Now your spin number again, 73.85 with the pitching wedge with the Pro V1, 83.34 with the pitching wedge with the Pro V1X. So I really think that that number would help you on and around the green. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is going to help with more of your backspin, helping you stop that ball on the green. Big difference in your Apex, 45 with the Pro V1 and 61 with the Pro V1X. So talk to me a little bit about your thoughts about both golf balls. Uh, which one did you like the feel of? And which one do you think would be your gamer moving forward? Well, right now, the way I'm swinging the club... I'd probably choose the beach ball than both of these balls <laughs> at the moment. But we've all been there, but yeah. <laughs> but for me, even though the Pro V1X did feel a little bit softer and by the numbers it did show it went a little bit further, I would probably go with the Pro V1X. Uh just because of the spin rate, just because it's gonna get me to help the ball get up in the air because a big problem of mine is keeping the ball too flat. It doesn't get any penetration in the air, and I think this one will be the one to go with. All right, sounds good. So you're moving on with the Pro V1X. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so we're here with Roland. Um, and Roland, you're about what handicap? I'm um, about a 13 a on average. A 13 yeah. handicap? Yep. So let's go ahead and check out his numbers um, with the driver, 7 iron, and the pitching wedge as well. Okay. So with Roland, um, as we go through the drivers on the Pro V1 and the Pro V1X, as you can see, the Pro V1 and Pro V1X distance-wise are around the same. You have a two-yard uh, carry um, better with the Pro V1 um, at 237 and the Pro V1 X at 235. As we move down, um, club head speeds, pretty good, um, both around 96 and 94, so it's a good average between both of those. Um, as you can see, the backspin, that's kind of where the Pro V1 X really shows the, the, the spin rate that it has there. So the Pro V1 is at 1834, uh, 34, and the Pro V1 X is at 2355, which is great and what we're expecting. Along with that, uh, the Apex itself, um, actually the Pro V1 uh, went a little lower than the Pro V1X um, that carried about 112. So a little bit of discrepancy there, but that's kind of what's going on with Roland's driver. No, that's actually what we're expecting. Pro V1X is supposed to fly higher than Pro V1 on average. You are correct. Yeah. Um, so that's fantastic. Somebody's been getting confused all day with that, just so you know. <laughs> I know, that's my bad, that's my bad. So. 7 iron, uh, the Pro V1 and the Pro V1X carries, they're around the same, 151 to 152. So both the balls are flight, uh, flying pretty well and, caver and averaging a good carry distance. So we move over to the club head speed, 75 with the Pro V1 and a 79 with the Pro V1X. How does that correlate to backspin? Uh, again, we see the Pro V1X with the higher backspin at 5670, the Pro V1 at 3740. And the Apex, again, the Pro V1X flying higher than we expected at 86 with the Pro V1 at 72. So the uh, Pro V1X with the 7 iron is still getting higher and has more spin, of course. Roland's Pro V1 pitching wedge. Uh, his pitching wedge went a little further on the Pro V1 than the Pro V1X. It's at 111. The Pro V1X is at 107. The uh, club head speeds, perfect, around 70 miles per hour for both of them. Um, Backspin, again, the Pro V1X continues to show with the backspin and, what it, and carrying about 700 uh, more rotations than the Pro V1, which is at 60, 62, and the Pro V1X at 67.31. And 
And how's that show on the Apex? Again, the Pro V1X flying higher at 67 compared to the Pro V1 at 66. So with all that being said, Roland, after looking at those numbers and identifying some of the, the key aspects, yeah. what, what ball would you choose? Well, I think it factors in a lot of different things. Number one, also looking at ball speed. Um, I was leading the category with the Pro V1X on ball speed on two of the three categories as well, which I think really helped. So that's something to obviously look at. Even when my club speed was lower at 94 with the driver versus 96.4 with the Pro V1, my ball speed was still higher. So that really made a big difference for me. Also, I'm, I tend to be one that needs help getting the ball up in the air more, especially with driver, and I have really low swing speeds as far as ball speed, spin with the driver as well. If you look at my driver with the Pro V1, what did we, where were we at again with that, the spin? This backspin rate? Yeah, the backspin rate, 18.34. So that's, that's probably well too low for my swing speed. I like the extra help that I'm getting with the Pro V1X. So for me, it's Pro V1X all day long. Now I do love the feel of the Pro V1, a little bit softer to be honest with you, but I'm about getting all the help I can get on the golf course. So I'm moving forward with the Pro V1X. All right, so we had an awesome time doing this video for you guys and definitely something that, the labels are in! The labels are in, and yours is upside down. Come on, guys. <laughs> Bunch of rookies here. Really appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Hopefully you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts on the numbers and if it's what you were expecting at home. What do you guys think ultimately of the golf ball testing we did today? I think it's great, um, as, as we all know. I got something to say. <laughs> I think it was great. I think we had a really good time testing this out. <laughs> what he said. Well, we really enjoyed it. I really want to give a big thanks to Tyler for sending us these golf balls to test out. We look forward to doing more product reviews and hopefully some club reviews in the future for Tylus as well. If you guys want to see anything else that we haven't provided for you, please make sure to reach out to us. Let us know. Reach out to us anytime at Roland at MyGarageGolf.com. Make sure to join our Facebook group down below, as you see here. That's where we communicate with you guys at home, answer any and all of your questions. And as always, make sure to check out our landing page, www.rainersignegolf.com backslash garage golf. And that's where we help you guys out with any questions you have on golf simulator stuff or anything that we can be there for. But as always, we had a great time filming this video. We look forward to for more in the future. If you haven't done so, make sure to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and click the bell notification for more videos like what you saw here today. Did I miss anything, guys? Something about keeping on something. Keep on keeping on? Keep on keeping on. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us. And as always, until the very next time we see you, keep on golfing. Thanks again.